going today, we're going to do a window garden update. I uh, planted most of this on or around December 12th, so let's get to it. Uh, here is the lettuce that we had from midsummer. I'm going to be pulling this out today and replanting some more lettuce. These are bolting and going to seed, so I'm going to pull these out and redo them. Back here, we have kohlrabi. They sprouted up nicely, but they're really spindly. So I don't know if we need fertilizer or if maybe they're not getting a lot of light. But the stems are very spindly, and uh, I think we have some seeds from the compost that sprouted up. Got a couple plants in here that look like they might be cucumber or a type of squash. And then here's our onions. These are our store-bought onions, which we have an addition. Uh, Big Daddy J put some onions in here that started sprouting in the pantry. You might remember our celery. It has a lot of new growth. It's doing pretty good. I think maybe some light might help it grow a little bit more. And then here is the Grandpa's Admiral's lettuce. Again, it, it sprouted nicely, but the stems are just really weak and spindly. I'm not sure if I'm going to pull that out and re replant. I think I'm going to add some grow lights to my stand here. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing they're not getting enough light. And then here is our dwarf kale and our collard greens. These are the ones that I transplanted from outside. Uh, when I transplanted them in here, they were only oh, three, maybe four inches tall. And you can see now they're oh, probably a foot tall, ten inches to a foot tall now. So they're, they're doing really well. I'm going to spray them down with a little more sea magic and uh, go from there. But they're looking good. They're kind of spindly too. This one doesn't have anything planted in it. It had some lettuce, but I pulled it out. And we'll move down to the bottom shelf. We have some radishes and a volunteer tomato plant. I'm going to be transplanting this. I'm not sure what kind of tomato it is but we're going to transplant it and see what it does. Again, the radishes are, the stems are just really weak. They lay on the soil and I think I'm going to be pulling them out and trying that again. And back here are my carrots and I definitely need to thin these out. But they sprouted up. They seem to be doing pretty good. And I have another volunteer squash or cucumber right here. My uh, compost had some volunteer seeds in them. So I've got a lot of extra plants here, but I think I'm going to keep them, transplant them, and grow them out. Uh, here's my California Wonder bell pepper. You got two sprouts of that. I planted two seeds. This was the other one. I planted two seeds. It never sprouted, so I planted three more seeds. And just today, this morning, I have one sprout. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that tiny thing up or not, but I have one little sprout. So we'll see what that does. And let's see. Over here are my better boys. You got planted two seeds. We got one that sprouted in this container. And in this container I have one that sprouted. And then again uh, it looks like uh, probably a squash or zucchini plant here. And I'm not quite sure what this one is yet. Again, seeds in the compost sprouted. 
So we'll transplant those out and see what comes of them. And then here we have some chevrel. They sprouted up good and they're growing. Again, very weak stems, very spindly. They lay on the dirt. And here's some black seeded Simpson, same thing, weak stems. This is my mixed herb. Has cilantro, thyme, sage, parsley, oregano, and some sweet basil. Had a lot of sprouts. Some of them died off. Some of them are still here, but very, very weak, thin, and spindly. Probably going to replant those. This is my garlic chives. Um, they do sprout slowly, so I'm kind of hoping some more sprouts. But so far, I only have two that sprouted. And here I have the bunch of onions. They're kind of spindly, but they're growing. So I think I'm going to hang on to them a little bit longer and hopefully some light and some sea magic will do the trick. So that's what's going on with the window garden. I'm going to be doing some transplanting and thinning out the carrots and probably do some replantings and some of the stuff. And when I get that done, I'll bring you along. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. And as always, till we speak again, stay prepared.